Well, I'm happy to be here. This is my first time in Vienna, and I wouldn't be here except for Isabel Trovenka van Stetten. And um, mostly what I have to say is just bringing things back to individual actions um, by individual artists and citizens. And um, this project, Foreign Affairs, would not be in existence except for the idea of one person, one artist, Isabel. And um, so I will just talk a little bit about how it was for me, since unfortunately she can't be here. Um, and I also would not be here, I need to say very uh, sincerely and gratefully, if not for the support of the U.S. Embassy in Vienna. So I thank them for that, because this project started just um, with Isabel, with no funding or anything in mind, just to really uh, meet and collaborate. And so for me, as a working artist for many years, I'm always applying for things. And a little bit over a year ago, I just get a phone call out of the blue from this artist calling from Vienna, Isabel, and um, all I hear, she's explaining her project for an here affairs, and I just hear the words international and collaboration, and I say, yes, this is great. Um, it's such a relief to, it was such a nice surprise to have something happen directly, and um, as previously mentioned, uh, this project is very much about two artists coming together from different countries, different cultures, and really not knowing each other, not knowing anything about each other. So we, um, the initial contact was about a year ago, and then um, a half a year later we met in Florida, in St. Petersburg, Florida, and in for 10 days in March, we worked together very intensively in my studio there, and we also worked apart. Um, and Isabel had come earlier to the United States in January to, and was in Washington, D.C. for the inauguration of our new president. So a lot of the work was flavored with past history and um, hopeful feelings about the present. Um, also, naturally, uh, we work with different media, different techniques, um, aside from cultural differences and ideas. Um, our personal enthusiasms and ways of working were all part of the mix. Um, so I think that, uh, you know, what's just been said by different people tonight, but what is worth uh, saying again is the importance of individual action. And um, that's, that's how this project came about. And um, as I think was also mentioned, our collaborative work will be on exhibition starting October 5th at Vinspiel Gallery. And there's some cards on the back table there. And there are a few examples of some of the work that will be in the exhibition. But um, all the work from our collaboration will be able to be seen then if you are able to come. Um, so the way we started, as I said, was simply uh, a few emails and Skype conversations, then meeting in person in March and working together. And then we organized an event, uh, an exhibition and event at an alternative art space in St. Petersburg called Studio 620. And we, along with ourselves, we had three speakers, one of whom was Andreas Stadler, who's the director of the Austrian Cultural Forum in New York City. And we had American and Austrian food and music. We had art on the walls. We had art on the floor. We had a video. We had uh, contributions to a charity that people would win a piece of art from us. There was an interactive game with a projected map of Austria that involved people's thoughts and experiences and imaginings about Austria. And um, because this was directed, this whole project was directed on the theme of foreign affairs, um, I think that we uh, did uncover a lot of uh, 
our projections about nationality and culture. About 100 people came to this event, uh, which took place on May 5th in Florida. And I, I would say that without cynicism, that as well as having a good time, consciousness really was expanded that evening. And several people were very moved by Andrea Stadler's talk, which touched a lot on history, which I, you know, most Americans need to know more about. And um, I really think that it was a successful cultural exchange that evening. Um, and I think that the individual artists working together, um, like I've been to a lot of different artist residencies and worked alongside artists from all over the world, but we're working in our parallel paths and learning from each other. But what was different for me with this project is that it was focused on this, the idea of foreign affairs, the idea of exchanging and really going deeply into um, our, our thoughts and projections about each other's countries and, and cultures. And that's, um, I hope you can come and see some of the real work. We put a little bit up, um, but that's where, that's where the exchange happened, is in the work. And that was our, our uh, way of communicating with each other. <laughs>